made all the right moves. Indeed he has. So now we move on to semi-final number two. There it is. And what a lineup it is. It really is quite, uh, quite a strong lineup here. Freddie Lingren out of gate number three. Nobody can win races there. It just hasn't worked this evening. It really has been problematic for riders. Martin Vasilik slipping up in the semi-final as well. Bartosz Marslik off that inside gate. Dan Bewley has given him that. Mm. And that is a big call, a really big call. It's, uh, so it shows a lot of confidence, doesn't it? Yeah, I do hope it proves to be successful. But uh, here we go then. The lineup for semi-final number two. Camera on the start marshal. Just keeping an eye on the riders. On the inside of the world champion, Bartosz Marslik in red. Gate number two in blue is Dan Bewley. Freddie Lingwin will come out of gate number three in white. And Ty Wolfenden elected to go from the outside in the yellow helmet colour. He'll be uh, quite happy about that. Jason Doyle certainly made a nice run round that outside. But don't count out Freddie Lingwin. Lingwin will be a tough customer here. He's been in this situation on many, many occasions. So... He has uh, got into the semi-finals by the skin of his teeth. Yeah, and he's improved from every race as well throughout the night. Yeah, he had a difficult start, didn't he? Yeah. But um, as you rightly say, he's got better the longer the night's gone on. So um, uh, will he be able to produce something a bit special from that gate three? It's not going to be easy. But uh, somebody's going to, two of them are going to miss out. This is a very, very tough semi-final, that's for sure. Who's going to join Jason Doyle and Robert Lambert in the final this evening? Will it be Smarzik on the inside looking to try and repeat the victory he secured to uh, lead the World Championship 12 months ago here in Croatia? Or will it be Dan Puley or will it be Wolfenden? Here we go then. Second semi-final, we're underway. A roar into the first corner. Smarzik and Wolfenden. Wolfenden around the outside. Puley's missed out that time. He's back in fourth place with Lingwin now coming through into third. The world champion out in front. It's the dirt. Parry away. Come from! Oh my goodness! What a move now! Wolfenden's going to have to really work overtime now if he wants to get back into second place. Super move from Lindgren. Super move. He waited up. He saw uh, Ty Wolfenden just going for the dirt line. Realised there was a little bit of virgin dirt right oh. around the curve. And Lindgren, uh, oh. sorry, Lindgren nearly gets collected there by Ty Wolfenden and the two Brits at the back. Meanwhile, Bartosz Marzlik is just checking out of the front. Well, Freddie Lingwin, you said you can never count him out. You said Chris has got better the longer the night's gone on. What a stunning ride from him. The world champion out in front, though, has stolen the march. Bitter disappointment for Wolfenden and Dan Beauty. Here we see it now. Smiles like through to the final, joined by Freddie Lingwin. Wow, how on earth has he done that? Just sense that maybe, maybe Wolfenden just left an opportunity there. Tough to call, though. For Dan Bewley, maybe the choice of, he may reflect on choosing gate number two, proved to be the wrong one to do. But yeah, for sometimes Bartos, you have to look at what you're doing, what you're leaving somebody yeah. else. You're know, leaving the world champion the inside world champion. Champion. So, uh, He may rethink that next time around. It's all about experience, but that man nails it. It's Bartosz Marsling. He can't keep the man down. Here we see it again, Chris. Yeah, cracking stuff. And... Uh... Smarzik knew exactly what he was doing, made himself plenty of room going into the corner. And at this point, I've got to say, it looks like Wolfenden's got this tied up. He's just got to sit around. But look on the inside there. There's a load of dirt that nobody's ridden on. And uh, Lindgren uses all of his experience just to creep right around the inside. You can see Ty Wolfenden realises straight away, I've left the hole, and Lindgren's just filled it. And uh, great ride, great opening that from Lindgren. It was indeed, and then Ty Wolfenden got himself in a bit of a problem there, and that gave the uh, breathing space that Freddie Lindgren needed, but an opportunist move there from Freddie Lindgren, and he has turned his night around. You would not have put money on Freddie Lindgren making the final this evening, but fair play to him, he certainly has. And uh, Dan Bewley and Ty Wolfenden, who had had such a strong night coming into the semi-finals on 11 and 10 points respectively but uh, once again the class the determination the composure of the world champion coming through there off the inside gate and uh, doing the business and he wouldn't put it past him winning again here for the second consecutive year in uh, Donja Kraljevic in the Millennium Stadium here
really has hotted up now. Shame about that rain earlier on. It did just uh, spoil conditions a bit. Fair play to everybody, but all of a sudden now it's drier. The racing really has improved dramatically.